Hello everyone. Today we will be starting off with NFA to DFA using Thomson's and subset construction. This is one of the very important components of theory of computations. Now we have already covered Thomson's construction in the previous slides. Here we know that we have three operations on regular expression, star, concatenation, and or operation. And specific rules have been defined to build a NFA with these. Just a revision. In star operation, we have four epsilon moves, Q0 to Q1, Q0 to Qf, Q2 to Qf, and then Q2 back to Q1. In concatenation, we don't have any epsilon move. In OR, we have four epsilon moves, Q0 to Q1, Q0 to Q3, Q2 to Qf, and Q4 to Qf. Now we will discuss one important function which is called E closure function before we start off with subset construction. Now first step in finding the E closure is that we have to start with the start state. Say for example, our machine has zero as a start state, we will take E closure of zero. E closure of a state, say N, will include set of all states which can be traversed from state n without consuming any input, that is through epsilon move only. Most important point is that E closure of a state will include that state itself in the set, that is E closure of n will include n in its set of states. Now let's start with the construction for A or B star AB. This is the original regular expression for which we are drawing. If we go in Thompson's construction, this is the NFA which we will get corresponding to A or B star AB. As we can see that there is OR and STAR, so there will be 8 epsilon moves, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 epsilon moves. Now let's start with the start state. We start with the E closure function, E closure of 0. E closure of 0 will include all these states which can be traversed only on epsilon move from start state that is 0. Now just see this. I have highlighted all the parts which will be covered from state 0 on epsilon move only. From state 0, we can go to two states on epsilon, one is 1, another is 7. From 1, we can go to two states on epsilon move, one is 2, another is 4. That is all. We cannot go to any state from 2 or 4 on epsilon. We cannot go to any state from 7 on epsilon. So, our E closure of 0 set will contain these states only, that is 0 will itself be included as I considered that the state for which we are defining the E closure, that particular state is included. So 0 will be included along with it 1, 2, 4 and 7 will be included. We are naming this particular set as capital A. Now we want to find capital A comma A. Why? Because we have sigma as AB. So what we will do, we will find capital A comma A, that means 0 comma A from 0, can we go to any state which is corresponding to A? No, we can go to two states only, that is epsilon 1 comma A, on 1 we cannot go to any state through A, 2 comma A, yes, from 2 we can go to 3, then next is 4. 4 comma A, no, 7 comma A, yes, we can go from 7 to 8. So that means we are supposed to take E closure of 3 and 8. What do you mean by E closure of 3? That means all the states which can, can be traversed through 3 number state only on epsilon only. Number of states which can be traversed from 8 on E closure only most important point, when we are taking E closure of 3, 3 will be included. When we are taking E closure of 8, 8 will be included. Now when I start with E closure of 3, that means 3 will itself be included. Along with it, all the states which can be traversed from 3 on epsilon move only. State number 6 can be traversed. State number 7 can be traversed. Then 1. 2 and 4. So these are the states which can, which will be included in E closure of 3. Along with this, we need to find E closure of 8. 
8 will itself be included and since we don't have any move from state number 8 on epsilon so our output will be 1 2 3 4 6 7 and 8 since this set is different from the set which we achieved earlier and we named it as a we named this new set which is generated from e closure of 3 union e closure of 8 as set b now we go to a comma b when i try to find a comma b i take into consideration the original a set that is 0 1 2 4 7 and i check from these states to which state i can go if i move only on b so i have 4 on b gives 5 that is all so that means i need to find e closure of 5 e closure of 5 5 will itself be included along with that we have 6 then we have 7 we have 1 2 and 4 so this new set which is generated from a comma b is 1 2 4 5 6 7 since this set didn't match with the elements of set a or elements of set b we name this newly generated set that is e closure of 5 as c we are adding these values on the table on the right side of the screen now we find b comma a b comma a means all the elements of set b will be included and we will find we will try to find the number of elements among these which have a move corresponding to a input one no input two yes from two on a we go to three four nothing six nothing from seven yes eight so we have e closure of three union e closure of eight we have calculated this earlier also and we named e closure of three union e closure of eight as b so we have same set being generated so we need not calculate e closure of 3 and 8 again we make it directly as b comma a is b now we move to b comma b b comma b that means all these elements of set b on b let's see 1 on b nothing 2 on b nothing 4 on b yes it gives 5 then we have 6 6 on b nothing 7 on B, no. 8 on B, yes. We have a new input that is 9. So we need to find out E closure of 5 union E closure of 9. Now we will find out E closure of 5 union E closure of 5 will itself be included as part of this. So we move from 5 on E moves and the sub the set which will be generated will consist of all these elements as we had discussed earlier. So we have corresponding to e closure of 5, 5 itself, 6, 7, 1, 2 and 4. Along with this we need to have e closure of 9. 9 will itself be included except that we don't have any state. So this new state which is generated is named as set D. Now we have already accomplished A and B corresponding to sigma equal to small a small b. Now we will see C comma A. C comma A, what is the elements of C? 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. C comma A, we will start with that. 1 on A, 2 on A, yes, 3. 4 on A, nothing. 5 on A, nothing. 6 on A, no 7 on a gives 8 again we get the same set that is b set which is e closure of 3 union e closure of 8 now we calculate c comma b 1 comma b 2 comma b nothing 4 comma b yes 5 6 comma b nothing 7 comma b nothing since corresponding to all these, we get only E closure of 5 and E closure of 5 has already been calculated and it has been named as set C. So we will put the entry corresponding to 
transitions from state C to small b as capital C. We are left out with a single state only that is D state. We will find D comma A. Now D comma A set D has 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 9. 1 comma A, 2 comma A, yes, 3, 4 comma A, nothing, 5 comma A, nothing, 6 comma A, 7 comma A gives 8, 9 comma A does not give anything. So we have again set B and the last one is D comma B. 1 comma B, 2 comma B, 4 comma B gives 5, 6 comma B, 7 comma B and 9 comma B. So we have only E closure of 5, E closure of 5 was C. So we don't have any new state now. So that means that we have completed our subset construction part. And now the DFA which we get is on the right side, that is the transition table. We will draw the DFA corresponding to this. This is the DFA which we achieved. We have four states. Now what will be the start state and what will be the final state? Here, A will be the start state because in the initial NFA, we had zero at the start state. Any set which will have zero as the start state will be included as part of start state. Since A it has zero, so we have A as the start state. What will be the final state? In the original Thomson's construction, we had nine as the final state and among all four sets which we have received, since only D has the final state nine, we will say that this DFA will have D as final state. Had nine been in state C, it could have also been included as the part of final state. So this is the final output. The summary which we have is that we have discussed how DFA can be generated to Thomson's and subset construction. One example has been discussed and we will be discussing more examples in the coming slide. Thanks.